Well, good morning, everybody. Excuse me, I just thought I'd check in. See how your incarceration's going. Oops, I mean, yourself, yourself quarantine. I forgot the word that they're calling it now. I want to talk about Walmart and FEMA camps. I want to talk about my fear that I won't have enough food for the grandkids. And I might have to go shopping somewhere. And the only place that you're going to be able to get anything is Walmart. And Walmart is the place that you're going to get your ultimatum. You're going to take the mark or you're not going to be able to buy any food. I believe that. I believe that's what's what's happening right now. And the vaccination is the mark. Or it's the beginning of it or it's part of it or it's the first step. I don't know. But I know at all costs I don't want to go there. Um, do you think it's any... Uh, Walmart hires veterans. They have hundreds of thousands of veterans working for them. Do you realize that these men and women are trained in combat and they work for Walmart? Walmart has an army. It has a huge army. They even let regular civilians go to make room for veterans. Why do you think that is? I think they were building an army. And, um, you know, there's, we thought everything was a conspiracy before. Well, None of it is, folks. It's all true. It's just, so, it was so hard to wrap your head around how complicated and how connected everything was. Like tunnels, are there tunnels under Walmart? What is that little pool at the outside that looks like they they're just wash things off the parking lot into this little drainage on the side? I'm sure you've all seen the videos. We've all seen the videos and pictures of all of the military vehicles in the Walmart parking lots, the closed Walmarts. Um, the barbed wire, the cameras, the outdoor section that looks like a, a holding place, like a yard where they could separate prisoners and, and let them get some sunshine and air. I mean, look at it. That It's the perfect place. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the surroundings of Walmart. Okay, first of all, Walmarts are put according to popu population. There's so many people, they drop a Walmart. But along with the Walmart comes the Sam's Club. Okay, right next to that is a Home Depot. And all around, okay, now they're on right on the interstate. And you get off an exit and you're at the Walmart. Now there's also route signs. And I don't know if anybody, please let me know if you have noticed this. There's a green route and a black route. What are those for? I think they're for the military and the strangers that are coming in so that they know they have a protocol what they follow. You know, they tell them green route or black route. Because I don't know what those signs mean. And I'm sure that's what it's for. Um, it's my opinion. It's my observation. These are my opinions and my observations. And I've been watching this a long time. Um, and nobody believed me. you know. But I kept talking. So now at least the people around me are... Like they've heard me say these things so many times. That they're familiar. So they're not you know, totally in the dark. They just thought I was crazy the whole time. You know, I don't want to be, I didn't want to be vindicated like this. I'd rather be called a crazy lady than to have this all come true. Um, okay, so let, back to the Walmart compound, as I call it. They've got the Walmart. They've got their holding pen for all, the, all of us, right? Uh, so then you've got hotels. Okay, you ever notice there's, you know, two, three, four, five, six hotels right around the Walmart? We don't have that many people here. We don't, we're not a tourist stop. Nobody, like, you know, those hotels would never fill up. I don't know how they stay in business. Um, but imagine that those are army barracks. Okay, all the personnel that's going to come around and control our population, those are the army barracks. That's what they're built for. And you know, so Walmart gets lots of subsidies from the government. A lot. So I think um, that those hotels are built to house the military. Now, okay, next, there are restaurants all around the complex there. There's a coffee shop. There are restaurants. Okay, you got a Wendy's. you got a, a Red Robin and maybe an, Ol an Olive Garden doesn't go there. You get a, a buffet. Like, there's everything that you might need right there. They've got restaurants. They've got Sam's Club right down the road, which is full of supplies. Okay, so that's your supply center. You'll be getting your little, you know, prison trays from Sam's Club. They'll send them up the hill. 
you know, across the street or wherever your setup is in your place. Ours is down the hill a little bit. Um, then you got a Kohl's right next door, so you got clothing. You got another warehouse right next door. They have uh, their own gas station, diesel and, you know, regular gas at the Walmart, at, at the Sam's Club, actually at our place. Um, they're one and the same to me. What else is up there? Everything you could possibly want is in that area. And, and you've, I've never seen a Walmart that's any different. And I've been all around the country to all kinds of Walmarts. They set it up the same way. So you've got your food, you've got storage, you've got housing for the troops, and you've got a jail. Oops, you've got a FEMA camp. You've got a FEMA camp. Is that, has anybody seen anything different? Their Walmart? And now they have, you know, the facial recognition. They have all that security stuff on it. I mean, Walmart is a fortress. Who could get in or out of there? I mean, it's, it's already a fortress. And who knows what's up on that roof? And who knows what's under the Walmart? You know, I've heard that, you know, people are hearing all those booms around Walmart sometimes, around their Walmarts. I believe they're the tunnels. They have a connect to the tunnels under the Walmarts. Yeah, absolutely I do. Absolutely. Um, they have, uh, let me just read a little bit of this. Over 800 prison camps discovered in the United States. They're heavily guarded by the National Guard full time. Put my glasses on. But are empty all the time. These camps are being run by FEMA. Should martial law take effect in the U.S. with a, just a simple order from President Donald Trump, martial law can be implemented and he will remain president in the White House until it's over. This is how they're, they're avoiding the, the election. You, the polls, they're not going to have an election. So he's going to be president for huh, who knows how long. Who, how long till they get an, an election? And then what are we going to do? You know, are they going to put Bernie Sanders in? And we're going to, we're going to be a communist organization or whatever you're going to call us. I don't know. So he'd, re, he'd remain the president indefinitely. The Rex 84 camp program states in an event in which a mass exodus of legal immigrants flock over the border, they'd be rounded up, sent to the FEMA camps. According to the alternative news, the camps all have railroad connections as well as roads and highways leading straight into them. Like I said, the black and green route. Almost all also have an airport within close distance of the camp. We sure do, right up in my area. Most of the federal emergency management agencies' prison camps can house... 20,000 plus people in warehouse buildings and are secured by the National Guard. Think about it. Walmart is huge. Sam's Club is huge. They got a big comp and and it's not just those buildings. They have all those little stores and they have a department store right next to Sam's Club, Kohl's. There is a lot of room. So where was I? <sighs> 20,000 plus people in warehouse buildings and are secured by the National Guard. The biggest of all the camps is located in Alaska, can host up to 2 million people. Holy cow. Same amount of people in Los, uh, of all the people in Los Angeles. Just ask yourself, do you want to be on Ashcroft's list? <sighs> the, yeah, I could be, I could read this all day. I mean, okay, let's, let's do this one. We all know about the, co the coffins. Others claim they're fake news and tried debunking the FEMA camp myths as conspiracy theories. Glenn Beck also advocated conspiracy theories about the plan that the U.S. government is planning to intern masses of people in case the evil depopulations Agenda 21 by the New World Order proceeds. He later backpedaled and hosted a segment featuring a guest from Science News who debunked Glenn Beck's own claims. A list of all the FEMA camps. Wait, I wanted to say something here. Agenda 21. We, that's not a conspiracy. It's not a theory. It's not... A thought. It's a plan of action that the United States, um, United Nations, has agreed on. I don't know if you would call that ratified, but they have agreed that the, there is, it is a plan. This isn't something that they're thinking about. It is being implemented. They, you know, made it their law. I don't know how the United Nations works, but they made it a law. Under their rule, they are going to, they, they ratified it. They are agreed to it. They voted. And they Pass the bill. It's now a law. I know those aren't. That's not the right terminology for the United Nations, but it's it's their law, and it's real. And if you doubt that any of these conspiracies are real at this point, you might as well just go to Walmart now. 
<sighs> boy, uh, there's a camp close to, there's, to the most major cities. Also, transporting people would not be a problem. Uh, and special protocols, training, events have put place to prepare for an influx of people. And this means you and your family could be sent to a camp in this event. Try and prepare for this as best you can by sitting down with your family and discuss a plan of action in this event. Try to have at least one mice supply of clean water and emergency food, including pets. We the preppers must fight the New World Order as best we can. Look at all of these camps. I'm going to show you a map. I, there's a picture. Wow. I wonder where ours is up here in Pennsylvania. Let me check. You can check on, on the mall on your own. Let me just go to Pennsylvania. Where are we? Oh, went right by it. Oh, Camp Hill. Of course, Camp Hill's already a jail. Crossville, Italian, German Italian POW camp being renovated. Camp Hill looks sits across the Susquehanna River from Harrisburg, close to Cumberland, and the Camp Hill Correctional Facility. I bet you it's connected to both of those. I'm going to have to check that out. Anyway, go ahead, go ahead here at globalpossibilities.org and you can see it in your state. Over 800 prison camps discovered in the United States. They're heavily guarded by the National Guard full-time, but are empty all the time. These camps are being run by FEMA, should martial law take effect. Yeah, I read this, but look at the map. Let me just go back and, and get some more maps out of, out of this. There's quite a few. Hmm, FEMA trains. <laughs> Somebody say, no, they're not real. Remember Jade Helm? You know, that was real. We all know it was. I'm on the wrong page. FEMA prison camps. Check that out. Is that where you're going to put everybody? Wow. Tents. That's great. That's wonderful. So, remember um, the UN came to town? Okay, what was that uh, they were hiring for? In New York, just bear with me here for a second. I want to I want to bring this bring this up because I want to talk about this too. Oh, my thumbs are too big for my phone. Okay, let's take a look at this. They posted a job for um. What did they want to do? They wanted to um. Oh, they were going to take your. You had to take your disarm. Um. They had to, I don't know what the, the word for it was, um, they were going to disarm um, something, engage it, like put you away, like they're going to inter you in a, in a camp, and then they're going to re-education, uh, like a re-education camp, and then release to society. So they're going to catch and release, and they're going to put you in a camp until you say you believe, and you will obey everything they say, I guess, and I guess if you won't. Uh, I don't know. Well, they're they're off. They're hiring a lot of people here. I forget what the name of the job was. I had every I have everything on my computer. Anyway, you remember that. I don't need to show it to you. Maybe I can find it this way. But yeah, the, it, that was scary as crap because it was disarm. You know, they had to be willing to take away our guns. Oh, here it is. UN Jobs New York disarmament. I wouldn't blame you if you just, um, here it is, disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration. Okay, they're going to disarm us, <laughs> demobilize. Are we demobilized now? We are demobilized. Maybe our, the prison is just our own homes. Wow, maybe this is the prison. I'm sitting in it. I oftentimes, I think I'm in a prison cell anyway. I'm... Um, yeah, maybe this box we're looking, we're sitting in right now, that's our jail. So we are demobilized. So reintegration. Hmm, curious. Maybe reintegration is when they have the signal on us and they know that they can keep us calm. 
and dull and dim-witted. And don't think for a minute that they cannot control your mind or your health or the way you feel emotionally or physically. 5G has been tested. It's been tested for years and years and years. You know those crazy people you see online that are targeted individuals? They think people are beaming them with microwaves and making them have pain and putting thoughts into their head. Look at the technology. I did a video about it a couple of months. Like this, this is my my pet my pet. This is why I I came to you, why I'm speaking on YouTube because I knew that this that this 5G has been tested on me for years and years. They could they, the machinery is there. The patents are there. Not only can they control you through a television how you feel they they can excite your nervous system all that check out Raytheon has a a tool called the Ravenclaw it's a brief size brief si briefcase size piece of equipment with which they can use active denial on you they can give you pain in any part of your body anytime they want and this has been around for a long time and believe me they've been testing it and that ringing in your ears that changes pitch changes you know, loudness, that is a signal being beamed to your, to your brain. They can, t they can read your, uh, c computers now can map your dream and make it into a movie. They can, they can see what you see through your eyes. They can put voices in your head. They can make you see what you, what they want you to see. Um, I have a whole playlist. It's called Mind Control Information and Patents. Go and take a look. All the machinery and all the technology is there. They can actually take a, a brain pattern out of anyone they want, feed it to someone else, and they will have the same experience, the same feelings, or they can feed it right back to you. That's how I found out I was in the program. I kept having this recurring thought that was making me feel awful and causing me to have a terrible depression and keeping me isolated and basically you know, unable to get out of bed. The thought kept repeating it. It was on a loop. And I realized that it was not coming from inside of me. It was coming from outside because I was consciously not wanting, not having that thought. I knew I wasn't. I examined that demon and it was not real. It was not real. It was not coming from inside me. And that's another story. It's a long story. And this is already, video is too long. You probably all nodded off already. Anyway, I wanted to talk about that. I guess I'm gonna, I have talked about whatever I wanted but since I got on here, but I've been really scared the last couple of days with the things that I've been saying on here. But let the cards fall where they fall because I need to say it. There are things that we have to share and, and you know, we may not be around much longer. Maybe cut out of YouTube or cut out of life. So, you know, read my name in the paper. It's because they don't like what I'm saying. But I don't think they care anymore because they're, they're, they, they, they won, right? They're celebrating. This is all going according to plan. Everything's great. But I'll guarantee you I'm not going to die from the, the virus. Unless they give me a better one. Oh, well. Until then, I'll just keep puttering along and doing what I'm doing, and I, I hope we can communicate, but I'm certain the Internet will go down because that's the last part. It's the isolation. We're in solitary confinement. We're in isolation, okay? And when they cut off the Internet, what are we going to do then? Hmm? What are we going to do then? No more Internet. Nobody to talk to. Nobody to share information with. No way to tell your neighbors what's coming. Someone in California can't reach out to somebody in uh, Ohio and say, listen, this is happening here and it's coming to you next. No, that's not going to be allowed. You know it's not. All right. Who knows how much longer we have. I just wanted to talk about some things this morning. And thank you for listening. Be safe. Be healthy. And be aware of your surroundings and take care. Pull together, take care, get as many people as you can to stay in your house with you. Friends, neighbors, family, you know, get as many people in one building as you can. And be together because it's not good to be alone. We're stronger when we're united and they're separating us. 
<sighs> okay. That is all for now. Thanks for being here. Love yous, everybody. Be good.